quick one. Was it tough choosing the one love of your life? Um, How many loves did you think you were experiencing before your wife? Oh, there's a lot. I mean, like everyone, I felt like was the one. I guess it's wild, point. hey? It's you, wild. Yeah, you think like, oh, this is gonna work, and then it doesn't work. You think this is gonna work, but I think when when you meet that person, when 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 I met when I met Taz, I was yeah. like, I know. Like, I, 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 there's, there's a, because with others, you meet them and you're like, oh, this could work. Maybe this could work. And yeah, it's working. It's working. And yeah. it doesn't work. But when I met her, I was like, if it doesn't work, I'm going to make it work. That's the attitude. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's then, how I felt. Yeah. Did you feel that you were ready for an inner change within yourself for it to work? Yes. I was like, you know what? I, I, I don't care what it takes. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do what it takes. I mean, like if I have, if I have to. I mean, like not totally compromise myself, but of course, things of that course. I have to work on with myself. That to make this work, then yeah, I'm willing to put in that work. And I was like, yeah, because. Oh, that's honestly, dope, man. Yeah, I mean, like you, you meet a person that you want to do that for. I've seen that quote quite a lot, right? That yeah. ma- men don't change unless they find or meet a woman, mm-hmm. just that one yeah. that mm-hmm. they will change for. Yeah. What they is it will. about her? Because there's a lot of women that look at you and they're asking, how did she get so lucky? And just stop being snucks. Jealousy. Jealous. I don't know. Oh. There's, like, there's like the strength. There's like she yeah. has um, that, that I just picked up on, I think, quite early on. Um, and I, I just, I, I think I fell in love with that more than anything. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Beautiful. And kids? Do we have kids? Yes, we do have kids. How many kids two do you kids, have? We have? Two kids. Two kids. Yeah, I like yeah, how yeah. he keeps looking back yeah. at her with yeah. the yeah. response. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely. <laughs> you're gonna see this on teamwork. Na- you're gonna see this on k 959coza It's like the sweetest thing to observe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, how old are they? Um, seven and thirteen. How's that? Um, you're a teenager. You yeah, a teenager. <laughs> I mean, Hectic. But I mean, our son is like, is like the best teenager ever. I oh, mean, sweet, he's man. sweet and he's, he's problematic. Yeah, like a yeah, teenager should. But yeah. I think he's like, he's like the best like, teenager I would have hoped for. He's, ah. he's absolutely amazing. So between yourself and Taz, yeah. picked up on the name there. Thanks. <laughs> Who's the good cop in parenting? Who's the bad cop? At most. She's a bad cop. Are you a bad cop? She's Disciplinary bad and cop. mom. And dad's the good cop. He's the playground, right? You're the classroom. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And all the report cards go to her first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. She- oh, fantastic. <laughs> We're going to unpack him a little bit more. He's starting his day on 959 Breakfast. This is absolutely amazing. Yonda, thank you very much for taking your time to come and join us along with your wife, your very beautiful wife. Uh, We're going to talk about career and everything else. So, Yonda, you've become the go-to guy for romantic comedies, right? Do you feel typecast um, or do you just enjoy being like a a TV screen bay? I think it's a bit of both. I mean, I enjoy oh. the characters that I play, and I also feel like you you get typecast if you do something very well the first time around, yeah. and then everybody just like, who can we think of that can play this kind of character? And then everyone in the room's like, yeah. that guy, mm. he was on How to Ruin Christmas, he was good. Like, mm. let's get him in, and you go in for the audition, and they like you, and they're like, yo, he's the guy. So um, you end up in in you like getting typecast because of that but I mean I enjoy the characters that I play yeah are yeah. you offended by the term typecasting because I've had conversations with various actors and they they don't like the term typecast but it is what it is look, isn't I it? don't care for it I don't yeah. really care for it I mean it's what you do with the role that you get um, I mean like I could play like the romantic like person in in, in, in various um, shows but it's 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 for me, it's always about who's the man, who's this person that you're playing, more than the the the, the role you have in the bigger picture. It's like who's the actual person because yeah. we're not all romantic in the same way. Yeah. yeah. Just a quick one. So you gave a stellar performance on How to Ruin Christmas with the late Busilo Khai, right? Yeah. That I mean, you guys were so close there. I mean, yeah. your characters. I mean, you shared so much synergy, so much energy. Yeah. Um, it must have hit you hard when she passed. I mean, it did. It did hit me hard, and I was working at the time, and it was it was. Shocking. I mean, I was shocked. Um, like you said, we had yeah. like great, great chemistry. She was great to work with. You were such like, a nice on-screen boyfriend. Oh man! And we played, man. Oh, yeah. and she's so, such a giving actor. Um, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was really hard, and I mean, like, it just goes to show, like, you, the last time you play with someone, this that could be the actual mm, last time you play with them. Yeah, so mm. make the most of it, and 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 just enjoy working with the people that you work with. It's so important mm. to have a healthy, like, working relationship with the people you work with. Does it make you when you when you when you experience death of a colleague? Um, in the acting fraternity, does it make you almost, you know, when people get into car accidents and then they don't want to drive immediately, does it make you have like some sort of stage fright or trauma trigger that jumping back on set, not necessarily on that the same particular set? set yeah, yeah, like I mean, on that particular set, yes. Um, on other sets, you know, like I have to, I have to be present, I have to be there, and you yeah. know, you have to work. But you almost like, like what I'm saying, I was at work when it, when when the news hit. And yeah. I just almost felt like, yo, I just want to go home and, you know, just take it all in and just, you know, I don't really want to jump into work right now. Be a human um, being. And especially going back to the How to Ruin set and, you know, meeting up with the How to Ruin cast and, you know, because we're such a close knit cast. And I was just like, I don't want to, I don't really want to see everyone. Mm. And I don't really want to go through all of that. And so, yeah, it, it, you do have like a bit of apprehension. And you're like, it's, I really don't want to see everyone. We, you know, we're all going to be in pain. And mm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of that. Mm. I think there's something so beautiful about sharing space with, um, you know, and, and getting to in, interact and engage with people that we only know from a TV screen, a big screen, a small screen, and you actually get to humanize them yeah. in terms of hearing your sentiment now around the death and around how it impacts on you. Because we only see you for what you are, and that's your characters. But yeah. to actually get to know you as a human being is actually yeah. pleasant. It's a very pleasant experience. It's 19 minutes after 7. He's starting his day on 959 Breakfast. His name is Yonder Thomas, everyone. So, um... Uh, Television, well, the television industry, clearly very much over the pandemic by now. Mm. Yeah. So many television productions popping up, platforms and such. Would you say the industry is officially breathing again, alive again? It is. I think it is. I mean, like um, for for the longest time, I mean, we stayed at home and we we didn't work and nobody we, and we couldn't work because especially like with with acting, you have to be in the same vicinity yeah. and proximity mm. with the person. Can't really um, shoot a show on Zoom, right? No, you can't. You, you can, <laughs> well, you can try, but I mean, hey, it's gonna be difficult. But yeah, so I think it's it's, it's officially open and people are more like and there's a lot of work coming in um, right now. I'm also doing um, a show called Redemption on BET. Um, yes. And we just started shooting like uh, almost like I think three weeks ago. Mm. Yeah, so that's gonna be that's gonna be amazing. So yeah, Are you I playing think... another bay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. What, what? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think I don't think a lot of people are gonna like are gonna like the guy I'm playing on the show. Um, oh, so you're a babe, but you're like one of those toxic babes. Um, hey, to hey, hate hey, you. I mean, yeah, oh, so yeah, you don't want to give yeah, it away? Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't want to give it away because <laughs> I, I think you guys are gonna really enjoy him. Um, also, like we're talking about typecasting yeah. as well, mm, and yeah. I'm playing I'm playing a cop. Um, uh, uh, some some of you. I've done that before. Yeah, I've done that yeah. before. Yeah, so yeah. I'm playing a cop again. But I'm, I think the different the guy I'm playing now is a bit different from all the other guys I've played. He's, he's got a little bit of an edge to him. He's got a little bit so of not a, a good guy. It's like a little bit of street in him. Oh, that's yeah, gonna be nice. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, that's, that's gonna, gonna be, be nice. nice. I think that's gonna be nice. But speaking of playing Bay, does this mean that you have to have a conversation within your marriage? Because especially when there are certain scenes that require you to do certain. Oh things. yes, yes, definitely. Oh, definitely, yes. You, you have to have those conversations. I mean, we've had plenty of those conversations, my wife and I. Like prepare um, her. Just to Baby, prepare I'm her. Like, I'm going to be look, kissing someone. This is, yes, I'm going to be having intimate scenes. I'm going to be, this is what's going to be happening. And, you know, I just take it through the scenes. Like, this yeah. is what's going to happen. And we just have a conversation about what she's comfortable with, what she's uh-huh. not comfortable with. Same conversation I would have yeah. on set with, with whoever I'm playing with. Yes. Where I say, what are you comfortable with? Are you comfortable with this? Well, I'm not comfortable with that. And mm-hmm. so on and so on. Um, because you have, you have to protect your relationship. You have to protect your marriage. Um, for me, that's very important to protect to protect your partner because people come up to her on the streets and be yeah. like, "How do you feel when your man is kissing another woman?" That is so deep. You know, and this is a toll of strangers, but yeah. they feel like they have access to her because they watch me on television. And you know, she has to be prepared for that. Just now, she she didn't watch the show because she's doing a night shift at, at Bara. You know, yeah. and then she comes when, when she when it's one of my favorite hospitals. Out. By the way, I tell no lies. Bara. The best it's, hospital it's, in the country. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If I can just well, have, the I can just have my wife <laughs> like once a week. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah I mean so you have to prepare yourself for that and you have to protect her so that when she watches it on screen because it's also a shock and she's yeah. not in the industry yeah so um, she doesn't quite understand what happens so, yeah. speaking of the industry I recently learned that there's something called an intimacy coach yes in, uh, do we have that locally yes we do well, I mean, and that's time I met an intimacy coach was on Netflix um, okay. Yeah, because that, that 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 got it like a bit frisky. Yeah. So so, so <laughs> was like, intimacy coach came in. I was like, so who are you? And they were like, well, I'm, I'm here to make sure that to, I nobody. Know how to, no, not this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody you know gets yeah. uncomfortable. And I think it's so needed um, because there's a lot of opportunities for things to go, you know, sideways when, yeah. when, when stuff like that happens. People get taken advantage of, and you're sitting there thinking. What just happened? And everybody's just moving on with the day. Yeah. Okay, next scene. Yeah. And she's like, who do I talk to? Yeah. Yeah. I just got violated. And yeah, I, and, and, I, yeah. And, and it was in the scene. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we were working. But I mean, we did not discuss that. Yeah. So um, Intimacy Coach is there to just, you know, create those boundaries. Like, Good. okay, mm. which are the red areas? Which are the green areas? And where can we go? Where we will not go? And how the scene is shot is so important that it's tasteful. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we're just about to let you go. Thank you very much for starting your day on 959. Quick one. Yeah. Because your wife is a medical doctor. Was she a medic on set? And you were a patient, you break a leg. How did you guys meet? What happened? Oh, no, we did met. We, we, like we, we met. Yeah, like. We met. I was... <laughs> That's a great one. I wish you go with that. We should go with that. I was, like, I was in Bada. I was like... Oh, an I'm angel. I, I might have... I could have died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, we met at... I was buying a shawarma. And oh, she was ahead... She was ahead in the queue. Oh, I was ahead, and then she came in. She was like, "I don't have time. Can you can you put this whole shawarma thing together for me?" Oh and I was God. like, "Well, hello, hi, <laughs> yeah." Tried to put the it's best like shawarma of movie. my life. I was like, "I'm with this shawarma. This shawarma is going to be the best shawarma she's ever eaten." Gordon, like, boy, what's his name? Ramsey. Yeah, yeah. Gordon, Gordon Ramsey. Yeah, Gordon never Ramsey is, he's never tasted a shawarma this good. <laughs> um, and then I stalked her for a while. Yeah. That's like a scene out of a movie. It's almost like life emulating art, art emulating life. You know, something along those lines. You know, yeah, those English yeah. things that they say that yeah, are like yeah, a yeah. sounding profile, life but actually Im quite imitates simple. Imitates life and life yeah, imitates art. Yeah, 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 Im yeah, yeah. imitates, not emulates. Yeah, you are nice and you. I'm English. I'm English. I'm English. I'm English. I'm English. I can't do it anymore. Thank you so much. You're actually a very fun human being. Your wife also sitting there in the background. This um, is a very she? fun human being. Yeah, Taz, thank you for joining uh, your husband. Yeah, Mrs. Thomas and Mr. Thomas. Yes, thank you. Thank you for starting your day on 959. All the best with your clean eating life and starving those children of yours by eating clean. Yeah. Okay, I'm just saying, put, just putting it out there. I'll be saying prayers for you, okay? Come back to the beef. <laughs> I'm just joking. Have a great day further. Thank you so much. 7.31, bottom half hour. He started his day on 959 and so did you.